High blood sugar is something that causes daily worry for people living with diabetes and pre-diabetes. But even though we revealed a world of ways to help you better control your glucose levels, you may still experience a glucose spike due to your meals, your stress levels, or even from being deficient in certain nutrients. Yes, it's true, experts have found that lacking certain important nutrients can trigger more blood sugar imbalance. However, adding nutritional supplements to your regular diet can be a great way to not only limit blood sugar imbalances, but also to help lower your blood sugar quickly if you find yourself in the midst of a glucose spike. So, which specific nutritional supplements might help you in your fight against diabetes? Don't go anywhere. We're about to share the three best supplements to lower blood sugar quickly. Like, subscribe, and we'd very much appreciate your support by clicking the thanks button below. Plus, be sure to stick around for three free gifts. Now, let's explore the three best supplements to lower blood sugar quickly. At number three, berberine. We have featured this supplement in our previous videos, or maybe you've heard about this supplement already, but what exactly is berberine? Berberine is a bioactive alkaloid compound that can be extracted from several different plants. It's already been in use for generations in Ayurvedic practices and Chinese medicine, but it is quickly growing in worldwide popularity. In fact, recent research has found promising results for berberine use in the treatment of high blood sugar. A National Library of Medicine meta-analysis of the efficacy of berberine on people with type 2 diabetes found that consuming 600 to 2700 milligrams of berberine daily can lower fasting blood sugar levels by up to 20%. The study also showed that berberine has the ability to lower HbA1c levels by 12% while also improving blood lipid levels. Other research has shown that berberine can be effective at enhancing blood sugar control when paired with diabetes medications, such as metformin and glipizide. Berberine seems to have these effects by activating the AMPK enzyme, which plays a major role in regulating metabolism. So, can you consume Ayurvedic herbs like berberine safely as a diabetic? Yes, but speak with your doctor or dietitian first, as this supplement may cause side effects such as stomach pain. Starting with a small dosage is a great way to see how your body responds to berberine. Number two, vitamin D. Yep, you can get vitamin D in pill form. That's good news because vitamin D is important for multiple bodily functions. It not only strengthens bones and muscle, it aids the immune system and decreases the risk of heart disease. Research also suggests that it can aid in weight loss. Plus, vitamin D increases the body's responsiveness to insulin by improving the health of pancreatic cells. The National Institutes of Health recommends that the average adult ingest approximately 10 to 20 micrograms or 400 to 800 international units of vitamin D daily. But some studies now suggest that most people should consume 1,500 to 5,000 international units of vitamin D for optimal health. Luckily, there are many healthy and delicious foods which supply vitamin D, including chicken, eggs, oatmeal, some cheeses, and fatty fish like salmon. In fact, a 100 gram serving of salmon provides approximately 66% of the recommended daily intake for vitamin D. Still, it's quite possible that you simply are not regularly getting enough of this essential antioxidant. In fact, research has shown that roughly 24% of American adults are deficient in vitamin D, and scientists estimate that upwards of 40% of Europeans have chronic vitamin D deficiency. Meanwhile, researchers in India found that over 90% of type 2 diabetic participants were significantly lacking in vitamin D. So vitamin D supplements may get your body on the right track, especially if you currently suffer from blood sugar dysregulation. 
A recent study involving over 90 pre-diabetic participants concluded that short-term vitamin D supplementation can lower HbA1c levels. And a separate trial found that type 2 diabetic participants who consumed 4,500 international units of vitamin D daily for two months had significant improvements in their HbA1c and fasting blood sugar levels. So whether you acquire it from your food or you get it in pill form, make sure to consume plenty of vitamin D each and every day. But if you find that vitamin D alone is not lowering your blood sugar levels as quickly as you would like, you might want to try possibly the number one supplement for improved glucose regulation. And that's just ahead. But first, discover a world of diabetes fighting foods with our new book, 10 Incredible Foods That Reduce Blood Sugar. Plus, discover the real reason why type 2 diabetes, obesity, and heart disease are increasing at an alarming rate. And find out what really works when it comes to preventing these illnesses with our free diabetes fighting documentary, The Scary Truth About Sugar. Plus, get our free recipe book, Amazing Alternatives to Rice, Pasta, and Bread, which contains over 50 easy to prepare and easy to follow recipes you can eat with the whole family. These gifts are free and waiting for you. Just click the link in the description box below. And now let's discover the best supplement for better managing your blood sugar with number one, magnesium. High blood glucose and insulin resistance can end up flushing many minerals out of your body, especially magnesium. In fact, there is a strong link between blood sugar imbalance and magnesium deficiency. A recent study found that 38% of those who had poor control over their blood glucose levels also had low levels of magnesium in their blood. But why is this mineral so important, especially for those suffering from diabetes? Magnesium is involved in multiple biochemical reactions within the body, including energy production, protein formation, and nervous system regulation. Plus, magnesium is utilized in the body's insulin secretion process, and it can help regulate the absorption of glucose in the blood. In general, doctors recommend consuming around 310 to 420 milligrams of magnesium per day. And of course, you can acquire magnesium the traditional way through your diet. Magnesium is found in nuts, seeds and legumes, avocados, bananas, whole grains, leafy greens, even in dark chocolate. But it's estimated that over 50% of adults are not currently ingesting enough magnesium from food sources. Even pumpkin seeds, one of the most magnesium-rich foods available, supply just half of the daily recommended intake in a quarter cup serving. That means to get the proper daily allotment of magnesium in your diet alone, you might need to consume large amounts of certain fat-rich foods. So magnesium supplementation can indeed help you cross that finish line without going overboard on calories or fat. A recent meta-analysis found that pre-diabetic and type 2 diabetic participants who took magnesium supplements daily for up to 24 weeks experienced significant reductions in fasting blood sugar. And the same review also noted that increasing your magnesium intake by an extra 50 milligrams may help further decrease your fasting blood sugar by an extra 3% for each time of use. Plus, studies have shown that magnesium supplementation can work to improve sleep quality, increase energy levels, reduce anxiety, and it helps to support proper blood pressure. So magnesium supplements can work to aid your glucose control and they may aid your body in a variety of other ways as well. But when all is said and done, you can still acquire this essential mineral by consuming a range of nutritious and delicious foods like those wonderful avocados, salmon, spinach, and even cashews and almonds. So now you know the three best supplements to lower blood sugar. But while it should go without saying, we are going to say it. 
speak with your doctor before giving supplementation a try. Your body requires proper amounts of magnesium, vitamin D, and berberine, but as is the case with most things in life, you can still get too much of a good thing. It is possible to accidentally ingest dangerous levels of almost any nutrient. So don't get ahead of yourself here. Be sure to formulate a plan with your physician or dietitian before taking supplements. But now we want to know, have you already tried any type of supplementation? What recommendations do you have for our community? Let everyone know by commenting below. Before you go, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We want to continue to create informative, research-based videos, but we need your support. So if you got value from today's video and would like to see more from us, send us a super thanks by clicking the thanks button at the bottom of this video. We'd greatly appreciate it and we look forward to bringing you more high-quality diabetes-fighting info. And don't forget to claim your three gifts by clicking the link in the description box below. Thanks for watching. We hope you're having a diabetes fighting day.